trying to. <laughs> I I can. Okay. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I hate my hair. No, it doesn't. It needs to be washed. Hi, everybody! I don't even know how to vlog anymore. I hate my outfit, too. The lighting is really bad. There we go. So we're at Agape, because Rosa just had to have a coffee. Well, no, here, say good morning. Good morning. Good morning, welcome back to the vlog. Yep. We don't know how to vlog anymore. Yeah, we've taken a, too much of a hiatus. Big word. What does that mean? Uh, a break. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. Unintentional. I, I was so busy. Would you like to hear what I did last week? Break it down. Uh, Friday night, or Friday, like pretty much all day, I had a market for Vista. Saturday morning, I went to the urgent care. Saturday evening, we had a wedding. Sunday, we went to New York City for the day. Mm -hmm. So that was a super long day. Monday, we had a family thing, like all day. Uh, Tuesday, all day market for Vista. Wednesday, all day market for Vista. And in that, with all my markets, I got sick. Um, so I was sick for my, all of my markets. Mm -hmm. And now we're going apple picking. Oh, it's like no. two days later. Yeah. Three days later after all my crazy stuff. Recuperated and stuff. Yeah. I'm so feeling. we're doing a day date because it's been a pretty long time because we've just been so busy. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, so dropped off a Vista package at Agape. Rose got coffee, and is it pumpkin roll now? Yeah. Pumpkin roll. <laughs> uh, yeah. Then we're gonna go to. She gave me the littlest peas. That's crazy. Look at that. That's fine. I just like to have a little pastry with my coffee. And then we're going apple picking. Then we're gonna go home and relax for a little bit and then friends coming over in the evening. For apple, so, for apple crisp. For a fresh apple crisp. And <sighs> the hangs. So yeah, come along with us as we do our day. Boop. I know how to vlog anymore but guess where I am I am in our daughter's nursery today is a Saturday and it's unusually really warm for the end of October it's like almost 80 degrees um, and so Jaren and I are going to Lowe's to get a few things for her nursery. I'll give you guys a little tour. I feel like I have not just vlogged consistently in so long and I just like feel so out of touch with everything. Just like social media and everything which is okay because I've been really busy but I also really miss vlogging and 
so I'm excited to um, just vlog again and hopefully be in a season where yeah I'm just uploading consistently because I really miss it and I just miss just like documenting things so to start off with I'm gonna give you guys a little tour and a little backstory of the nursery we are pretty much just like working on that lately and it's been really fun but also it's been a very long process because of the space that we have so yeah I'll show you guys what we have going on okay so this is our upstairs hallway coming up from the stairs it's so messy right now because we are moving everything out but this is the studio also so messy don't look at that um but we when we bought this house this was just like an extra room um it was labeled as a bedroom but it's literally not even big enough to fit a bed in hey what? you he is being a petty <laughs> man child this morning yes you no, are yes you are. He has been messing with me all morning. <laughs> I'm just showing them the nursery. Anyway, so this was literally for two and a half years, just like our crap room. We just had like so many bins stacked in here and it was just awful to come into. Like I just hated opening this door. Like this door literally stayed shut all the time because it was just so ugly but then I got pregnant and we were like we gotta stick this child somewhere so we were like I think we can do it I think we can make this room functional um and so yeah we are trying <laughs> it's been um quite the curve learning curve I guess because it is tiny so we ripped out the carpet in here and we painted the floors white like the studio just because I feel like it helps um, with making the space look bigger. And it's such a tiny room that there won't be much, you know, walking space for it to get super dirty. But um, this summer, my grandparents were moving. Um, and so they had this dresser and I told my grandma that I want the dresser. Um, and so we bought it from them and this is the dresser that used to be in their playroom uh, growing up at their house so um, this was just like filled with all of like the toys that we used to play with like as little kids like me and all my um, cousins and um, so it's super special and I have to ask her again, but from what I understood, it would be our daughter's great-great-grandfather who made it, I think. Or maybe it's great-great-great-grandfather. Either way, it's at least, like, yeah, a couple generations old. And so it's super special. Um, so we've had this literally in our hallway for so long. And we finally moved it in here. And so we were going to do... Well, another thing, I got this chair. I literally got it for $25 at the thrift store. It is so cute. Literally exactly what I wanted. And I'll sit in it. It rocks and swivels. And it's super comfy. Um, so I got that chair at the thrift store. And I loved it. It was a little crusty. Not like just super dirty, but it just had like a few stains. But me and my mom, like shampooed it a couple times and it actually like came out so good and just super cute um so we were gonna do the dresser the chair and then do like a mini crib um because a full crib obviously wouldn't work in here but once we put the dresser in um we were like there's no way that all three a mini crib chair and a dresser would fit in here so we have to adapt and so now we're building a crib into the wall. Let me show you what that looks like. So um, we have this like weird slant here, if you can tell. And that is literally our stairs underneath. 
So that takes up more space, but we can't rip it out. So we were just going to do like build a little shelf. It's not completed yet. Um, build a little shelf and then just put like storage baskets on it. So yeah, once we realized that the crib won't fit here with the chair here and the changing table, we um, just, yeah, have to adapt. So instead of putting all of this here on like a finished shelf type of thing, we are going to build a little crib here. Literally into the wall. It's actually going to be super cute, I think. And I'm really excited, but we realized that it's going to be super tiny. So we, I have been researching like the standard mini crib size and just like standard crib like regulations or whatever. And so lengthwise it's going to work, height, everything. It's like literally exactly what a mini crib size is, which is what we were going to buy anyways. Um, but we realized that she is only going to probably be able to like stay in it for max a year, <laughs> which is kind of, um, hopefully like our plan, like in a year from now, we'll be ready to move out of this house because we're like already maxing it out and she's not even here. <laughs> So, um, with like the other bedroom that we have being like my Vista studio, there's just no way like we'll be able to stay in here for a couple years because either our daughter is going to max the space out or Vista is going to max the space out. So, um, yeah, that is what we are working on right now. It's been so fun. I have just like been dreaming of doing like this project for so long. And I just love it so much. I just love like doing this kind of interior work, but I don't have um, a like open, I don't have like a lot of blank spaces in my house to do that and to like do what I enjoy because our house is just so tiny. So I've been really looking forward to working on this project. So I'll give you like an actual official little tour of the bedroom. So you walk in. We have the dresser. Obviously, once I have my baby shower, I'll have all of the cute things like a changing tape or a changing pad um, and probably like a little diaper caddy. But for now, this is what's on it. She is so cute. Um, <laughs> and I probably will keep this empty. Just I'm just going to have to like keep the walls empty for the most part and just keep it very simple so that the space isn't overwhelming uh, because it's so tiny. But I did buy this. I think it is so cute. Um, just a little goose and that's from Amazon. I'm gonna have a lot of the stuff in the nursery it is from Amazon so I'll have it in my storefront but this is super cute. The curtains I got Amazon Prime Day just like a velvet cream. And I really like them and I got something, I think this is like 90 inches, so it like drags on the floor a little bit, which I don't mind. And we just put it up as like high as we can just so that it makes the space look bigger and it actually really does. And then we have the chair, which I found at the thrift store. And this rug I also got um, from Amazon. This was like major sale, like 60, 70% off. And it's really cozy and it's uh, a round rug, like four feet, I believe. And so it's just perfect for when we'll be here changing. And this print is also from Amazon. I just love like birds and stuff. So I kind of wanted that to be healthy. And wow, this just makes me so much. <sighs> Out of breath. That print is either going to go here above the crib that we're making or here. But I also want to get shelves, so those might go here or here. So I, I'm not really sure where we're putting that. Um, but this light is not staying in here. This is literally from our living room, but there's no light up here. So we are going to do a little sconce. And I also thrifted this. 
I think it's so cute. I ordered a cute little lampshade from Amazon. So that'll go on the wall probably like that. I also need to show you this bassinet. We found this on Facebook Marketplace. It's literally so cute. Please don't mind my mess. This is a Pottery Barn bassinet and I love it so much. I think it's so cute. It's just like exactly what I wanted but this comes off and it has a lot of storage down here which is awesome and that is going to go in our bedroom when she sleeps with us here also pregnancy pillow i had to and i love it <laughs> jaren hates it yeah so our house is just kind of a wreck until we get this room completed and until we just like go through each room and declutter and get rid of things because we just have a lot of things that need to get rid of she already has a cute little collection of stuffed animals they're so cute these two are from a company called cuddle and kind they like reached out on instagram and wanted to send me something so i chose this one and then they also just sent this one as like an extra little gift but these are so cute this little puppy is from becky and this is from h&m so she already has a collection probably stop talking but i already have like a bunch of things stashed at the bottom of the dresser so fun um yeah like i said this dresser was from my grandparents so i'll probably take this wallpaper out and either paint it or re wallpaper it I'm not sure um but yeah just like super cute stuff that I cannot wait for and this is all the clothes that I've collected so far um but we still need a few more things obviously because that is a wide variety a wide range of sizes and I just don't know like how much clothes do babies have like obviously they all grow it really fast um but like what sh how much should I buy of you know like I'm like buying a lot of like zero to three right now um just because like I've heard they don't like some newborns don't even literally fit in newborns but then like some do so I just don't know like what to buy but I've been collecting things here and there from the thrift store and just little boutiques and TJ Maxx things like that it's been really fun I love sitting on my chair where I'm gonna rock her to sleep it's just so crazy I can't believe it I should probably give like an actual Pregnancy update since I haven't vlogged in so long, but I guess I'll do that sometime. I've been talking for a while, so I'll do it some other time, but yeah, so crazy. Getting spindles for baby's crib. Yes. DIY. Chip and Joanna games. Sure. Except our budget is a little bit lower. And we live in a tiny house. So I'll I'll try to karate chop this one to see if she that's, can break that's out. What you, mean. Nah, you probably couldn't. I'll karate chop this one. Heck. Mm, mm, mm. Strength test. To see if our five month old will be able to break out. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll be all right. Yep. Unless she's gonna be Samson, female version of Samson. Okay, well, this. It's fine. It's gonna be so cute. I love it in here. Okay. Keep that same energy when. <laughs> <laughs> when she's seven months old and. When she's screaming her head off and. <laughs> this. <laughs> yeah. Right, I need to go get the drill. But those are done. Cool. Very cute. Yeah. All right. It is 3.12 and I 
am so tired. We switched out the knobs on the dresser in the nursery. Whoa, it's very bright. Um, and I was just sitting on the chair while Jordan was doing all the work and I just got so tired and then I sat there and scrolled on my phone for a while. And so I just have to start moving so that I do not get as tired. So I'm gonna make a latte. I haven't had a coffee today yet, so I'm gonna make a latte.